In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Welcome here once again, again to All Saints Church in Pontefract, to our service, service of Holy Communion this morning on um, a, won a wonderful, well, it is a little bit blowy outside, but the sun is shining and streaming through the windows um, on this, this morning. And welcome to a worship. We begin our worship this morning with the hymn we, we cannot measure. How we feel. It's a wonderful hymn for this morning when we remember our own, our own NHS, our National Health Service, and its foundation, and the gifts of healing that God has, God has given to this world, to our church, and the gifts that those who serve in our NHS give to us day by day and week by week. By week. So please join me as we sing, sing this hymn. Lord, let 
Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and also so with you. Let us gather together and pray, pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires I as known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of, you and of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love, love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he, that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to say, save us from our sins, to be our advo advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. So let us confess our sins in penitence and faith. Firmly resolved to go to keep God's commandments and so to live in love and, love and peace with all. Let us pray. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have not, have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our, loved our neighbors as ourselves. In your mercy, see, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend, amend what we are and direct what we should be. That we may do justly, love mercy, and, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. And Almighty God, God who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, upon you. pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in the life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. And we, we sing together the glory. Glory to, you, to God in the highest and, and peace to his people on earth. So we pray in the collect set for today. Gracious Father, by the obedience of Jesus, you brought salvation to our wayward world. Draw, draw us into harmony with your will, 
that we may find, find all things restored in him, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. First reading, reading this morning comes from the book of Zechariah, chapter 9. Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will take away the chariot from Ephraim and the war, the war horses from Jerusalem, and the battle bow will be broken. He will proclaim peace to the nations. His rule will extend from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will free your prisoners from the waterless pit. pit. Return to your fortress, you prisoners of hope. Even now I announce that I I will restore twice as much to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm this morning is part of Psalm 145. The response is, Great is the Lord, Lord, and highly to be praised. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. The Lord is loving to to everyone, and his mercy is over all his creatures. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom, and speak of your mighty power, to make make known to all peoples your mighty acts, and and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your, Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. The Lord is sure in all his words, and faithful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall, and lifts up all those who are bowed down. Great is the Lord, and highly to to be praised. The New Testament reading comes from the letter to the, to the Roman Church, chapter 7, where Paul writes, I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. Not do. For what I hate, I, I do. And if I do what I do not want, not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do do it, but it is sin living in me. For I know that God himself, that, for I know that good itself does not dwell in me, in me. That is my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot, cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good, the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, do this. I keep on doing. Now, if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me, me that does it. So I find this law at work, work. Although I want to do good, evil is right, right there with me. For in my inner being I, de- I delight in God's law, but I see another law at work, work in me waging war against the law of my mind mind, and making me a prisoner to the law of sin that work within within me. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? death? Thanks be to God who delivers me, me through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is, is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just before we read the gospel, I want to just go and adjust the volume volume on the uh, on the church speakers. Just hold on for a moment. The Lord, Lord, be with you, and also with you. 
Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O, o Lord. Jesus said to them, them, To what can I compare this genera generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling out to others, We played the pipe for you, for you and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For, for John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he, ha he has a demon. And the Son of Man came eating and drinking, drinking and they say, here is a glutton and a drunkard, a, f a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is, is proved right by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, you Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these, these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to, them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is, this is what you were pleased to do. All, thi all things have been committed to me by my Father, no one, no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son choose, chooses to reveal Him. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give, will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn, learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest to your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I'm sure that there's no one like this listening to this uh, service and join, joining in with us this morning, but some folk are just never happy. They just, they just seem never to be able to make up their mind about things either, about, either about what they really want. And the more others try, try to please them, the more they complain that things are not right. right. There are some things that do need, need to be just right if we're going to be happy, aren't there? Be honest with, you, with yourself. You like certain things just the way that you, that you like them. The egg for breakfast has, has to be just right. Not too runny, not too firm. Just right for dunking your fresh toasted and butter soldiers it was into. Reminds me of that wonderful portrayal by David Suchet of the Belgian detective Tiv Poirot, who one day, surrounded by the op opulence of his Art Nouveau hotel, seated at a be beautifully presented table for a full silver service breast breakfast, is presented by two boiled eggs in perfectly matching silver cups on a silver tray with beautifully toasted bread, and is heard to, e to exclaim, you can't expect me to eat those. The thing was, the two, two eggs were of different sizes. There was a small one and a large one, and he couldn't cope with it. And of course, it's almost exactly that manic ins insistence that everything should be right that drives the det detective and makes him who he is. Never, never happy until every nuance of the evidence is sifted and, and checked. He finds it impossible to drop until all is solved. And on one level, we might say that Poirot is a man of, man of great discernment, whilst at the other, we, we may quite rightly worry a little about his sanity. But discernment is an important, important quality that we would all do well to cultivate. The Apostle Paul has discerned something, but it, but it almost seems too much for him to bear, and you begin to fear for his, his sanity too, for a moment or two. He has no, noticed, he has discerned something in his life that, that gives him great consternation. And he looks deep into, deep into his own soul, and at his own actions in the material real world as well. And in both he finds two powers at, was at work. His own desire to be good, and the resulting actions that betray that, de that desire. And which he attributes to his own, own sinful nation, nature. He doesn't blame anyone else. Paul recognized the two natures at work inside himself. His own broken, broken humanity. And the inner delight and desire for, for God's wonderful law. And just when, it, just when it seems he's about to despair of ever finding a way forward, forward his gaze is directed out of himself and to God, God who delivers him from his wretched state through Jesus, 
Paul is instantly transported to a place of joy and of clear seeing. In our Gospel reading, however, Matthew has just spent time showing to us who John the Baptist is and who Jesus is. The one, of course, the final messenger, sent by God to prepare the way from the other, who is the expected coming one, the Messiah. And now Matthew's attention in our, re in our reading this morning is turned upon those to whom these things, things have been shown and should be plain and evident to the religious leaders of the day. These, these are the very ones to whom John and Jesus have been sent, the, the very ones who should have discerned straight away who each were but. Happy, happy in their own lives and their own traditions, they didn't even, even want to know. Neither John nor Jesus are the, are the sort of prophet or messiahs that they are looking for, for. They just didn't get it. They couldn't see. Their discernment has failed them, assuming that, that they had any in the first place. John is too austere, too funereal for them. He challenges their attitude to riches and to wealth and the, and the respo responsibilities that go with them. He exposes the poverty of their faith and his, his very lifestyle shows up their corrupt and selfish lives. And he is accused of being possessed by an evil, evil spirit. Then Jesus comes, comes on the scene, and far from living on locusts and wild, wild honey, this rabbi frequents wedding celebrations and parties and feasts. It must have seemed sometimes like if there was a joyful celebration going on, Jesus would be right there in the middle of, middle of it, and they call him a glutton, a drunkard which according to their laws was found in Deuteronomy is the mark of one who should be thrown out, and out of any proper society and stoned so as to purify the people. And in which, which they would have been sort of right, for he would have been taken outside, outside the city, and he would be put to death for them, them, and they would have a hand in carrying out that death sentence. No. Those, those with the training and who were supposed to have wisdom could not, not see. They could not discern. They were blind to what, what God was about. True wisdom, however, was present. She was there in the ordinary folk, in the little children, in the tax collectors, publicans and sinners, more of that this evening, in the fisher folk like, like Peter and John, even in the souls and the poles of the world, the world who in themselves strive for good but fail at every, at every turn. And Jesus celebrates this. He thanks his Father for, the, for those very people that the world wants nothing to do with. They get it. The poor and the meek, meek prove to be the ones with true spiritual discernment. And like the little child, they're open to receive good thing, things from a good God. And then he, then he invites them to come and celebrate in turn by exchanging the burdens that the world would have put upon them. them. The scribes and the Pharisees who loaded the ordinary, ordinary folk with burdens that they themselves never took up and were never able to carry. And he, he replaces those burdens with his own yoke. An easy, that means a well-fitting and comfortable yoke that would make their lives better, their work easier. And by learning of Jesus, the true wisdom of God, God that he exalts the weak and abases the proud. So do you get it? Do I understand it this morning? Can we discern God at work here and now? If not... Or whether you can or can't, come to the table that wisdom himself, herself, self, should I say, wisdom is always referred to in the Bible as the female. Think about that, men. Wisdom is always portrayed in the Bible in female. Come, come to the table that wisdom has set for us. Taste her bread and drink her wine that God in his wisdom has prepared here and now for us. Amen.
So I ask you to join with me as we affirm our faith in our faithful God in the words of the truth. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, dead, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of, sin of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of, sin of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And so let us come to our heavenly, heavenly Father and bring to Him our prayers, our praise, and our, our intercessions as we pray. O Lord of vision, open our, open our eyes to behold your presence, to perceive your, your love and to see your purpose for us, that, re, that rejoicing in your presence and strengthened by your love, we may do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord, our Lord who is alive and who reigns with you and the Holy, the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Faithful God, we pray for all people who seek to, f- to follow your way in their lives. Let, you, let your church speak your word of truth with confidence and in unity, so that all peoples will see, see and hear clearly your message of love and of peace. We pray for the outreach and the mission of the faithful, for all who teach the faith, faith and pass it on by example. We pray, we pray for guidance in our bishops, priests, and all who serve you, serve you. And pray that your church may always be open to, re- to receive your love and to receive other, others in that same love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we, God, we pray for our fragile world, for all pe- people and nations and colors, those whose troubles, troubles have been brought about by the global pandemic, and for those, those areas where they have a spike right now in the coronavirus. We pray, we pray for all areas of conflict, for those who suffer, suffer through acts of war and terrorism. We pray for peace, peace in our world. We pray for our, for our Queen and her government, and all world leaders, for, for the strength and the wisdom to govern with your principles, and deal fairly and wisely. Lord, in, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Father, we pray for the people, people around us in our neighborhood and in our places of work. We pray for our families and friends. Give, give us an insight into their needs. We pray for, for all who are undervalued or taken for granted and unnoticed. We pray for our homes that they be places of peace and always well is welcoming. We remember as well the homeless and pray that they keep safe during this difficult time. And we pray for those who work with them and seek to provide for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Just for a moment or two, we pause. We pause. As we remember our National Health Service, we give thanks for its foundation, for its continuation, for the, for the work that it does, but above all, of all, for those who work in it, who selflessly give of themselves for the healing of others. Gracious God, we pray for all those who are, who are sick, anxious, or bereaved. For those who carry we weary, who are weary, carrying heavy burdens. For all who are no longer coping on their own. We pray for the more recently sick, sick in our own communities and those who have requested prayer. Remembering particularly Val and Roy. 
And in the moment of quietness, we name before him our great healer, those in our own family and friends, and who we know. Jesus, he is healer of the sick. We lift them before you. Touch them, them all with your tender healing love. Lord, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of eternity, in whom then there is no beginning and no end, welcome into your, to your presence those who have died and comfort those who are grieving. Remembering in particular all who have lost their, li their lives and continue to do so through the COVID-19 virus, those whose lives were taken away so suddenly and violently and unexpectedly in acts of meaningless violence, violence in recent days. Comfort those who mourn the loss of loss of loved ones. Especially those, those that have carried that loss alone due to the lockdown. Remember to those whose anniversary falls at this time, who we once knew but see no more, no more, but now see you face to face in glory. Merciful Father, I accept these, these our prayers. For the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus stood among his, among his disciples and said, Peace be with you, with you. And then they were glad when they saw the Lord. The, the peace of the Lord be always with you and also, also with you. Please do offer each other as you, as you can a sign of Christ's peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through, through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all, all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. For you. Through to the vine, a work of human hands, it will, be, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and loved your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin, sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels, forever praising you and singing.
We praise and bless you, you loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be to us, us the body and blood of your dear Son, who on the, on the same night, on the night before he died, had supper with, supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, and he gave it to them, and said, said, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Of me. And when supper was ended, he took the cup of wine, wine and again he gave you thanks. And he, and he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for, me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as oft, often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, we remember all, all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice, made once for all upon the cross. And bringing before you the bread of life and cup of, cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. For great, great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Lord of all life, help, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, when justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favor on your people and gather us into your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the, un the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be, be yours forever and ever, O loving, loving Father. Amen. So let us pray and pray in the words that Jesus taught us as he invited us to come and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily, daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. We, we break this bread, that we might share in the body, body of Christ. For though we are many, we are all one, one body, because we all share in one, one bread. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, pro we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, 
I am not worthy to thee to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Eternal, eternal God, comfort of the afflicted and healer of the broken, broken, who have fed us at the table of life and hope, hope, teach us the ways of gentleness and peace, that all the world may acknowledge the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the, with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through, through him we offer you our souls and bodies to, to be a living sacrifice. Send us out, out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your pra praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Just before our closing hymn, which, which is an old and well-loved hymn, What a Friend We Have in, G in Jesus. Um, and the notices for this week are very simple. We will be streaming, all being well, our, our service, our midweek communion on Wednesday at 10 o'clock. And next Sunday, again, still streaming our services at, is at 10 o'clock and 6.30. And this evening, there will be even some from here as well at 6.30. Our, ch our churches, although technically could be open, are not, not yet open. There has been so much to do and to take in, in the last few days, and information coming through through day by day, and almost hour by hour, it's seen on occasion. Um, and one, two legal matters that came up at the last minute that had to be dealt with. So, de so decisions had to be made. Um, but hopefully in a couple of, couple of weeks or so, we will be able to open our churches Keep, keep an eye on our website and uh, listen to what I say on Wednesday and next Sunday for further information. I do hope that uh, before very long, long I can see some of you and join with you in this building. But I have, I have counted it a great privilege over the past weeks and months, months to share with you in your homes. Thank you, thank you for that privilege. So we sing our fi final hymn.
which I haven't got, got called up here. I've, called, I've said what a friend we have in Jesus, Jesus haven't I? Um, let me find it, if I can remember how. Make yourselves a coffee for a minute. Oh, we, oh, we found it. Here we go. Let's sing this wonderful hymn. In a moment, we will. a friend we have, have in Jesus, all our sins, sins increase to bear, what a pri privilege to carry everything to him in, in prayer, oh what peace we often forfeit, oh what all oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Happy trials and temptations. Is there trouble anywhere? We should, should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrows share? wasn't quite the version I was expecting. Um, we did prepare one with Neil on the organ and to sing to this morning, but I seem to have lost that in, that in amongst the electronics. I'm sorry about that, Neil. We will do, we'll do that one another day, I promise. The peace of God, of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and the, in the love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, among you and remain with you and those you love and pray for, both, both this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve, serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, Amen. 
Oh. 